Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 102. Please turn to it. Page number 102 and today is our lesson number 49. We are dealing with some algebra problems here. The very first problem asks us to subtract one, alge one algebraic expression from the other. So let's, let's put it down here. It says simplify the expression. That's all. Simplify the expression. Simple enough direction, simplify the expression. The expression that they give us in number one is this one here. 6x squared minus 5x plus 8 minus x squared plus 7x minus 1. The very first thing we have to do is to open the parenthesis. Opening the first parenthesis is straightforward. We just have to copy it down. 6x squared minus 5x plus 8 and then we need to slow down here. There is a negative sign in front of this, this parenthesis, which means every term inside this parenthesis gets multiplied by a negative. So negative times positive, this, this is a positive x squared. The negative times positive is negative x squared. The negative times positive is negative 7x. And negative times negative is going to give us positive 1. In other words, in other words, because there is a negative sign in front of this second expression here, all the terms there, they have to switch their signs. Positives become negatives and negatives become positives. That's all. That's the part you need to pay attention to. Make sure you change the sign of every single term, not just the first term. That's a very common mistake people make. They end up changing, changing the sign of the first term, but they forget to change the sign of the other terms in the second expression. And of course, the answer that you will arrive at by doing so will be one of the answer choices because, as I just said, it is one of the most popular mistakes. And among the four answer choices, as I always remind you, one of those four answer choices is the right answer. But you must understand that the other three answer choices, they do not fall from the sky. They are not put there at random. The other three answer choices that you see there are the three most popular mistakes. If you end up making one of those three most popular mistakes, you will never know that you've gotten the wrong answer. And this is one of the most popular mistakes where people switch the sign of the first term, but they forget the other terms. Anyway, enough, enough said. The next thing we have to do is to add all the like terms. Add all the like terms, which is what we learned in our algebra course. Uh, on day number 21 through 50, we learned how to add and subtract like terms. So let's do that here. So here we have 6x squared and here we have negative 1x one, one, one squared. So positive 6 and a negative 1. You see when it says negative x squared, when it says negative x squared, it's actually negative 1x squared. So negative 1 and a positive 6 is going to give us positive 5 x squared. Then we have a negative 5 and a negative 7. Negative 5 and a negative 7 is going to give us negative 12 x. And finally, uh, 8. Finally, 8, positive 8 and a positive 1 is going to give us positive 9. There is your answer. 5x squared minus 12x plus 9. Now, in case you are not familiar with what I just uh, talked about, the algebra course that is, if you need help in algebra, if you want to improve your algebraic skills, on my channel you will find 200 videos that will help you self-teach algebra. And make sure you go in strict sequence from day 1 to day 100. This is a course schedule. On day number 1 through 20 we learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions. Day number 21 through 50 we learn how to add and subtract like terms. On day number 75, 51 through 75 we learn how to multiply algebraic expressions. 76 through 85, on day 76 through 85, we learn how to divide algebraic expressions. And finally, the last 15 days of the first part of the course, day 86 through 100, we learn how to uh, solve for simple linear equations, which is also something that you're going to encounter in the, in the exam. It's coming up in a, couple of in a couple of pages. And finally, we spend the second half of the course, day 100 through 101 through 200, learning how to solve word problems. If you're interested, it's there. It's there for you to avail yourself to it, if that is what you wish to do. Do you understand? Anyway, this is it. Day no, uh, question number one. Let's do number two. Let's do number two. I'm going to raise all of this thing. We need the room.
Number 2 says 5x minus 4. Number 2 says 5x minus 4 times 5x plus 4. Again, you just multiply one term at a time, first term by the first first term of the first expression by the first term of the second expression. 5 times 5 is 25. x times x is going to give us x squared. Then 5x times 4, 5 times 4 is 20. So we get here we have positive, positive times positive is going to give us positive. 5 times 4 is 20. x. Then we have negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 5 is going to give us negative 20 x and finally negative 4 times the positive 4 is going to give us negative 16 and what we find is that the middle two terms positive 20x and negative 20x they're going to cancel each other out and we end up with 25x squared minus 16 as our final answer that's it and for those of you who recognize this thing this thing is same as a plus b times a minus b which we know equals to a squared minus b squared. This is what is known as the difference of two squares. That's what they're getting at. Let's move on then. Problem number three, where they want us to divide. So here in problem number three, we have to divide one algebraic expression by the other. Problem number three. I'm going to, have to erase everything. We need the room. Number three, the last one. They give us 24, 24x squared y minus 6xy plus 12xy squared xy squared and they ask us to divide it by 12xy. 12xy. Now the key here is to divide and conquer. Do one term at a time and you'll be fine. Do one term at a time and that's all there is. So we take out 24x squared, we take out 24x squared, and we're going to divide it by 12xy. Positive 12xy. And this is positive. Then we take our negative 6xy and divide it by positive 12xy. And then we take finally our last term and divide that by positive 12xy. And that's all. So let's get going. Positive divided by positive is just positive. If you divide top and bottom by 12, 12 drops out and 24 is going to become 2. x squared divided by x. x squared divided by x. x squared divided by x is the same as x times x over x. x is going to cancel out and we're left with just x. y divided by y, that's going to cancel each other out. So that's it. That's, that's the first term. Let's move on to the second term negative 6 and a positive 12, negative divided by positive is negative and 6 divided by 12 is just 2 so we get negative 1 half and then what happens to x times y versus x times y we have x times y x on the top, x times y on the bottom they can cancel each other out and that's it, that's what that's all we are left with for the second term positive 12 and a negative 12 they are going to kill each other and x divided by x, x is going to cancel out and what we are left here is positive y squared over y, again y squared over y is same as y times y over y and of course the y's are going to cancel out each one of them and we are left with just y. So what we are left here is just the y. That's it, we are done. That was the answer. The final answer is, did I leave something? Did I, did I miss something? It looks like I missed something. Oh, I was being careless. There is a negative 4 at the end, isn't there? Oh boy, there is a negative 4 at the end. We have one more term, which is negative 4 divided by positive 12xy. There is a negative 4 here. Negative 4 divided by 12xy. Inadvertently, I left it out. So let's do that, shall we? So, 4 divided by 12, if you divide top and bottom by 4, if we divide top and bottom by 4, we end up we end up finding that the 12 has 3 4 so it's negative negative divided by positive we end up with negative 1 over 3 and then on the top we have nothing here so it's just negative 1 over 3 xy so it's negative 1 over 3 xy that's your final term 
That's our final problem. That's it. So that's our answer. Our answer is positive 2x minus a half plus y and negative 1 over dxy. That's it. Tomorrow we'll deal with uh, simple word problems where they will give us something in plain English uh, language and we have to translate that into algebraic expression which is what we learned day number 101 through 200 how to solve simple word problems. People have a great deal of fear dealing with word problems and the reason why you have a fear of something is because you never obtained, you never acquired a sound foundation in it, whatever it happens to be, whatever field it is, uh, because you don't have a sound foundation in it. In these 100 videos they will provide you the foundation that you need so that you lose your fear forever and ever of word problems because you will know how to build, how you will have the building blocks, that's what it is. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.